Fran. English Grammar Convention. Present Perfect Verb Tense, Past Participle. Eighth Grade Skill Level, Questions 18. Me Medicine, Antidote Your Ignorance. Show some love and throw some bands on my cash app. Cash app, hashtag, dollar sign, me medicine. Keep me fueled. I can continuously provide you with these builds. Keep you in the know and up your knowledge game. Be sure to subscribe. English Foundation, verb tense, question 18. Complete the sentence with the present perfect form of the verb. In parts of Southern California, overgrown vegetation and dry conditions blank an environment vulnerable to wildfires. The task here is to shift the tense of create to its present perfect verb form. The perfect tense describes completed actions. Another way of saying this is the perfect tense usually tells about something that has, had, or will have happened. To form the perfect tense, use a form of the helping verb to have with the past participle of the main verb. The past participle of a verb is usually the same as its past tense form, its simple past tense form that is, but sometimes the verb is irregular. The present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has started already. It uses a present tense form of the helping verb to have, which is either going to be has or have. Note that has corresponds to second person singular subjects, and have will be paired with the first person singular pronoun I, the first person plural pronoun we, the second person singular pronoun you, and all third person plural pronouns. All right, so that might have been a lot to digest mentally. Check out these examples. The sun has broken through the clouds. Note that here, has is the second person singular form of the verb to have. Again, it agrees with its singular subject, the sun. Also notice that the main verb broken is the past participle of the verb to break. The past participle verb form of break is obviously irregular. The verb form has broken is the correct present perfect tense. Now check out another example. John and Erica have played the violin for years. Note here that have is the present tense form of the verb to have that is paired again with I, you, we, and all plural subjects. Here our plural subject is John and Erica. So the present perfect tense, have played, correctly corresponds to its plural subject, John and Erica. All right, back to our original question. Now for a detailed solution. Again, the present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has started already. It uses a present tense form of the helping verb to have, which is has, for singular third person subjects. And just in case you're wondering, an example of a third person uh, subject is going to be Southern California. It's singular, okay? All right, and have, H-A-V-E, for the first person singular pronoun I, also used with the first person plural pronoun we, as well as the second person singular pronoun you and all other plural pronouns. So have is also paired with all other plural pronouns. And just in case you're wondering what a plural pronoun is, an example is wildfires. There's more than one, it ends in an S. So more than one means plural. So either form of the verb to have is then combined with the past participle of the main verb and voila, you get the past perfect tense. According to this rule of formation, have created is the correct present perfect tense verb form. The use of have created is appropriate here because the overgrown vegetation and dry conditions precipitated. And just in case you don't know what the word precipitated means, 
It's spelled P R E C I P I T A T E D. Definitely look it up, okay? I want you to become well rehearsed in your vocabulary. All right. So dry conditions precipitated the perfect conditions for wildfires before the fires actually happened. I also want you to take into consideration that the main verb create is regular. Therefore, its past participle verb form created is going to be the same as its simple past tense verb form created. This is just additional information. Once again, we have proceeded created with the present tense form of the helping verb to have that agrees in number with the third person subject of the verb overgrown vegetation and dry conditions. Okay, so have is always going to be paired with a plural subject. And overgrown vegetation and dry conditions is the plural subject of the present perfect verb form have created. Okay, I just provided so much clarity for you based on this example. So we've definitely established that have created is the correct present perfect tense verb form.